Welcome back, everybody. Today's lesson is really exciting. I mean, I get really excited about this stuff, and it's really fun to watch all of you grow and learn as computer scientists and programmers and acquire the skills that I know that you are going to use to change the world for the better. So today we take two steps forward in different ways. We're going to start working with text data in Java, which is itself a really exciting type of data to be able to work with. Um, human societies are in many ways distinguished by our use of written language. If, you know, somehow we blow it here and the planet is eventually sort of um, not filled with humans teeming everywhere and the aliens arrive hundreds of thousands of years, the fact that there is written documentation will be some evidence that there was civilization on this planet at some point. So we'll talk about that today. We're going to learn about how to use uh, text and job and how to work with it. And along the way, that's going to actually bring us into um, an introduction to Java objects. So, so far, the data that we've been working with in Java has been quite simple. It's been in, stored in these primitive types. Strings are our first example of a data type in Java that is not a primitive type. And Java objects have some pretty cool new features that we're going to explore. There's a big chunk of our lessons coming up that are going to explore how to design our own Java objects. But today is sort of the beginning of our introduction to Java objects from the perspective of a user. So we'll learn, at, learn about the types of things we can do with them and how we can use that to simplify our own programs. So welcome. It's an exciting day. It's good to have you back.